So I saw yesterday a new uh, pre-ordered figure, or a new figure available for pre-order from uh, Big Bad Toy Store, and I also saw it on the uh, Mezco website, which is Dick Tracy, and it's actually Dick Tracy versus Flat Top boxed set, coming out in fourth quarter 2023. So that's almost a year away. But I'm a I'm a big uh, Dick Tracy fan. So uh, I believe this is the first. Time Mezco has ever taken on Dick Tracy. Um, so there's Dick Tracy with flat top. Uh, here is my IDW. Uh, volume uh, volume 9 of the complete Dick Tracy by Chester Gould. I own all of the volumes uh, from I think like 1931 to 1977. So I'm obviously a fan um, of Dick Tracy and uh, what Chester Gould was able to produce. And it does take up almost an entire shelf, all of these volumes. So I, I, I will say this about Chester Gould. I'll say uh, actually a few things about Chester Gould. Um, he was brilliant at keeping his stories interesting. Uh, he created compelling characters, particularly the villains, and uh, he's been parodied over time because he did such an amazing job of making these uh, fascinating villains. Almost always the villains would uh, die at the end of the story, so um, he would continually crank out new ones. Um, Flat Top did die, and uh, later on Flat Top Jr., appeared because Flat Top was such a popular character. Uh, Chester Gould had a lot of amazing abilities as a writer. He had some abilities that were not so amazing. One of the, I'd say one of the problems was that he would make the stories up as he went along. So uh, one time he said in an interview that uh, if he doesn't know how the story ends, the reader won't know how the story ends. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, particularly when you're reading these, because these were read one day at a time, but when you have them in a volume, then you're going to sit there and you're going to read them all, um, or months in one sitting, and you could see the flaws in the storyline. Sometimes the storyline would, would go in one direction, then it would turn in another, and the beginning of the story wouldn't match up with the end of the story, and it would just kind of meander along. Um... As he got older, Chester Gould seemed to get more, I don't know, cantankerous, more... He would create these characters, and a lot of times characters would really work, and sometimes they did not work. Sometimes they were really bad characters, and one of the problems is that Chester Gould, uh, apparently he really wanted to be a, a humor writer, but he wasn't funny. He was very good at crime dramas. He was not good at humor. And he would create humorous characters, and the characters would go over very poorly, but he'd get very curmudgeony and would just double down, triple down on these characters um, and keep them around. He, he also, particularly in the 1970s, he'd get into these very strange storylines. Dick Tracy started using uh, super technology, um, traveling to the moon, things that just were completely out of place with the character from early on how, it, how he was created. Also, one of the issues I had with Dick Tracy, the character, was the fact that he was always the hero, no matter what he did. And he did some things that were really non-heroic. He also seemed to be uh, a bit amoral, um, but he was always the hero, and it kind of bothered me because he was doing things that were... I remember one story fairly early on where uh, he, took, he took someone who was just a regular citizen and had them... Um, I, I can't remember if they wore a wire or something, but he was trying to get information on the villains... And the character ended up dying. And he just, Dick Tracy didn't seem to care. He'd taken an innocent person and caused him to die and just didn't seem to care. And this was often the case. And as time went on, you could see 
Chester Gould's politics bleed through, and Chester Gould was really an authoritarian and um, seemed to be pushing harder and harder for a police state. And particularly in the 1960s and 1970s, this started to go over less well as time went on. And uh, I got the impression, it, and, and also each one of these books has an introduction in it by a writer. Um, and as time would go on, the introductions were getting more and more honest about the fact that Chester Gould's politics were pretty horrendous, and um, he seemed to be more and more in line with the police are always right, and the justice system, the courts are wrong, and it's better just to kill a, a criminal. And it, it got pretty bad, and I and I I will say that. Uh, he, he, I want to say Chester Gould was in his early 70s when he retired and I don't know that it was his choice his artwork was still fantastic I think that, that Chester Gould's artwork is spectacular even up until when he retired but I don't know that his retirement was his choice because his stories were getting pretty bad and his storytelling ability. And I don't know if it was necessarily the fact that he was getting on in age and was having difficulty telling stories or if he just was getting more and more obstinate, was getting pushback, and so would, rather than uh, tone his stories down, was just getting worse and worse. But he never stopped being entertaining, even when his stories were really, quite frankly, batshit crazy. They were always entertaining, and even when his politics were pretty heinous. I mean, there were times when I, I really wasn't enjoying it, but for the most part, I wouldn't have stuck with the series so long through the whole thing if I was hating it. So the figures look, and that's a pretty good interpretation, I'd say. So there's, so his eyes are kind of squinty there. He's got the freckles and the, the mouth. And I like that coat. That coat looks really neat. And there's Dick Tracy in the background. Although that's just a drawing. So there he is with his, his Gatling gun and his... That's cool accessory. That is really neat. Um, martini glass. So you have some effects there. I like the lighting. That's some really nice camera work by uh, Mezco. And there's Dick Tracy... I don't think they've ever done Dick Tracy before. Okay, so he takes his trench coat off. Wow, that is nice. That is nice. So that's $195, almost 200 bucks. Uh, I went on Mezco site, and that is the price on Mezco also. Um, I should jump on this fairly soon because uh, sometimes they sell out. I'm not sure how in demand the uh, Dick Tracy character is. And it is a year away, so I should have time. But um, sometimes these uh, sometimes these sell out. So I'm going to have to get this one because, like I said, I'm a Dick Tracy fan. I don't know if they're going to do any more of the villains. Uh, sometimes they start a, a line and, and, and don't really – just make a figure or two with it. So – We'll see. There's a ton of Dick Tracy villains, but I, I'm not sure how uh, how they would sell just a villain on its own. And Flat Top, I'd say, probably is the most iconic of his villains. So anyway, that's Mezco's Dick Tracy coming out uh, fourth quarter 2023.